All for your winner by unanimous decision. Winner of the Ultimate Fighter Season 26 and now UFC Flyweight Champion of the World. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Nico Montano. I feel pretty great. Um, you know, I'm pretty exhausted. Roxanne put on a good fight, but just the feeling of being a champion of the USC is like a dream that I really never thought that I would be able to accomplish, and I did it in such a short amount of time. I'm pretty proud of myself, although I know I could do better. <laughs> um, I just feel, I feel great, though. I feel great. I feel like Roxy has more volume um, with her punches, and I think she, I feel like she knows her range a lot better than Sarge does, so I just knew she was a little bit more technically sound standing, and I knew she was down to play a volume game and have the cardio for it, so I knew it to expect, you know, a faster paced um, uh, fight, but all in all, she's just a girl like I am, and I knew I just had to go in there with the heart, the biggest heart. <laughs> I feel like I have a lot to learn, and I feel like um, in the short amount of time that I have been fighting MMA, which has been about four or five years now, um, I've come a long way, so to beat someone like Roxy is... Uh, it's, it, you know, it sounds really cheesy, but I'm going to keep using these terms of like being blessed. It's an honor because it really is. She's been an inspiration. Trevor gave us these papers to fill out when we first went on the Ultimate Fighter. And it, one of the questions was, who is your inspiration to be a fighter? And I put Roxanne Matafari. She goes into fights and she loves what she does. She never loses the passion and she always has the kindest heart. You know, win or lose, she's always smiling at the end and at the beginning. Um, I, I really can't thank her enough. I've sparred with her a couple of times, like, she's nice, she's Roxy, I don't have to worry about anything. And then I saw, started to see stars after a couple of punches, I was like, Roxanne, I thought we were friends, okay, well it's on. But she's, you know, she's talented and I, I appreciate her skill and appreciate her bringing the beast out in me, you know, I really don't know what I have until I'm pushed to my limit and then I exceed it, so. Yeah. You know, I think as soon as I'm, I'm out of here and back home and back in my space, then it's really going to sink in and I'm going to be like, what do I, who am I? <laughs> what have I become? I'm super proud of everybody's support, you know, a lot of the time. Um, not very many people see martial arts as a sport, as something that's very passionate. They see it as sort of barbaric or... You know, you drop out of school and you want to become a fighter, whoop de doo there's nothing to learn except to stand in there and throw punches and beat each other up. But there's really skill and technique and you have to be determined, you know. It's just like having a full-time job, it's just like, it's a responsibility. It's your number one priority if you want to be here, if you want to be a champion. And, you know, that's who I am and I think I've, I've proved that tonight. You know, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Obviously, I'm doing the right things. I just need to get more time in, you know. my. My time, my, my time of like becoming the fighter that I can be, I think is still within reach. I don't think I've, I've climaxed. I don't think I've, I'm where I'm, where I'm going to stay. I'm definitely going to keep growing and I can't wait to see what I can do.